Welcome to Game Night Tonight for another unboxing of this game, Juicy Fruits. So my wife saw this at the game store and was like, this looks fun. And I agreed with her. I mean, it looks simple, looks fun, um, not a lot to it as far as what I can tell. We've never played this game before, and like I said, we really like picking up random games that we've never seen, but that looked exciting. So ultimately, each of you has a small island paradise, which are these little boards, and you're going to be trying to produce the best and juiciest fruits to create your uh, fruit empire, if you will, and and sell it to those who are buying all the fruits. So you want to create the best fruits and everything that you possibly can. You got solo mode instructions set up and everything right here. So it's got its own separate instructions. So I guess you can play this on your own, which I, I kind of like. Um, you got the rule book overall for one to four players, ages 10 and up. Uh, it says it's about 45 minutes or so to play the game, but not too extensive on the rules. Um, it's a standard, you know, eight by 11, whatever uh, page, but you got eight pages of instructions overall. So this is just an overview of like the, I really like that they do that on the back of rule books is just the, oh, on your turn, this is uh, what you're supposed to be doing. So there you go. You got the rule book, not too extensive, not too much happening. A lot of little punch outs. So you got the island that you're gonna be building, like producing all your fruits, different things that are going to be happening, but you also want to get enough ships and everything is what it says to be able to expand your empire and your business to different uh, areas. And that way you can produce more on the, the boards, but you got all these different tokens, these punch out tokens, lots happening here. So the different types of fruits you're going to be able to grow, different things that you can do. Uh, there's the boats, um, different, I don't know, victory points or something like that, or things that cost more. I'm not sure. Like I said, have not played this game, but it looked fun, so we picked it up. But you have the four different player mats with all those, and then you got all these different, like, maybe this is a, how many you have to send off to the different ships. So you have a bigger boat, so you can send more stuff here. Um, but the more that you get, the better you are off, because the more, the bigger the ship, the more produce you can send off, which gets you the more business and more money, so you can ultimately win. I don't know if these are like victory point counters, but it looks like just different ice creams that you can sell or something. Um, different names of islands, so I don't know, maybe you just pick your name and that's what it is. All these punch outs, but then you have this, looks like its own little card, so. I don't know if these are like achievement things. Oh, this is the market. So the, all these different customers are going to be coming in, purchasing different things. And based on how you started and it goes up, you're going to be getting higher victory points or whatever on that. On the back side, it just shows the different island names um, for the game. But it looks like that's the market for the people. This looks like your victory point counter. So you're going to be starting at zero, winding your way all the way around. And then you can be lapping yourself past 100 points. So it could be big scoring games. Maybe it's not. Whoa. And then on this, I'm going to look at that again. Okay, so it just shows the island on this and then the counter. But on the back, it looks like there's a lot more like victory point scenarios that you can do. So this is like a, a more advanced if you've played the game a couple of times, you can play it this way. Uh, based on like what you trade, you get different victory points that allow you to boost, wow, boost your overall victory points and uh, become the winner. But there's different juices you're creating, cocktails and stuff like that. So there you have it. There's the two little game boards. Um, got a little black bag. It's nice. Uh, let's open it up and see what's in here. I nodded it. Nice. All right. Here we go. So opening this guy up here. What are we going to have? Ah, the fruits. There we go. So we got oranges. You got, I would say, pomegranates or apples. I don't know what it's supposed to be. A banana. You got a lemon. You got a grape. I don't know. I don't know. But you got all the different kinds of fruits. And, of course, for freshness. I'm throwing that way. <coughs> Excuse me. A little itch, itch on my throat. All right. And then you got the, I'm guessing these are the tokens that you track on your uh, victory points. Uh, but it looks like all the tokens are included in here in this particular bag. So I will tie that up again. I don't want to lose anything. So you go token bags. You have an extra token bag. I don't know if one's just for fruit and then one's for like other stuff or if they you just are supposed to separate it so everybody can reach it. And then that is the cardboard box insert here to hold everything. But there you have it. You got the extra bag. You got all your tokens in here. 
You got your player. Oh, you got the overall victory point mat. You got your market mat. Ooh. And then you've got all the different punch outs here, the different things that are going to be happening, the boats that you can hire to help you to get those uh, fruits to market. We've got all the player boards with all the other stuff that you're going to be building and obtaining to help you in your fruit empire with the rules. I like that there is a solo mode, but I'm excited about this game. It looks like a lot of fun, pretty simple, just kind of a fun producing fruits, trying to become the best seller, best business, if you will, and sell to that market and get the most victory points. So there you have it for this unboxing of Juicy Fruits. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe down below um, so that you can catch any future videos of how-to videos, more unboxing videos, uh, my personal recommendations for different games, etc. But we will catch you next time on Game Night Tonight.